welcome to my English voice. So today's lesson is about apps and apps of the future. Um, if you haven't done the worksheet yet, go away and do that and then come back and watch this answer key video. So what about the discussion question? The question is, what app would you make if you were going to make an app to enter this competition? Um, I guess for me, I would want to make an English language learning app, of course. <laughs> I would love to take all of your voices and put them into an app. Um, I've never actually studied how to make apps. Um, I started looking at coding. There's a really good website that I liked called uh, Code Academy, I think it was. Um, but it's, I mean, it's really difficult. This is a long project to learn about this. Um, so if you know anything about apps, then yeah, you could get in touch. I would love to start getting into that in the future. But what about you? What type of app would you like to make? Write your comments in the box below. Okay, so what about the speaker's accents? I remember there are three things to focus on. The consonant sounds. And these all sounded clear to me in the speakers on the video. The second thing is the short and long vowels. And um, I thought that um, the word habit, um, the it sounded quite long to me. It sounded a bit like have eat, eat, and that's a feature of a Filipino accent. Um, so that's something you might have noticed. And the third thing is sentence stress, to make the most important words longer, louder, and higher. Um, I thought that some of the speakers uh, use the sentence stress quite clearly to focus on the main words. And a few of the speakers had quite like equal length. So not much difference between the short and the long. And that's maybe something you noticed. And this can be um, quite sort of take a lot of effort to understand when you're listening, especially if this is a new accent for you. Okay, so what about other speakers from the Philippines? There is a huge number of English speakers in the Philippines. It is a massive English speaking population. Um, and for me, this accent sounds really normal because in Dubai, um, I had a lot of uh, friends and colleagues who are from the Philippines. Um, something that you maybe have noticed before if you've met Filipino speaker is that F and P can sound the same. So the Philippines can sound like Philippines. Um, also v and b, so vlog, like a video, video log, vlog and blog with a b can also sound the same. Okay, so remember that you might notice things that are different in the speaker's pronunciation compared to your pronunciation, but different does not mean better or worse necessarily, doesn't always make somebody unclear. And the letter R, um, the, the sound for this might sound different to your pronunciation. And the TH, the sounds, um, for example, in the middle of mother could sound like D. Um, and the TH at the beginning of, for example, thin um, could sound like tin, T sound. Um, and the research suggests that this should not cause any problems for communication breakdown. As long as you keep it the same, we can just switch this switch in our mind when we're listening. And there are many other pronunciations of this sound around the world. For example, maybe in your pronunciation it's s or f or z. Um, and this should be okay. Okay, so thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel and also subscribe to the newsletter so you can get updates of new lessons. New lessons come out on Thursdays and Saturdays. Most importantly, share your English voice with my English voice. Mm -hmm.